So today I'm figuring out the filters. I'm using the actual Curtis chips. It's a very popular chip that was used in all of the polysynths of the 1980s, like the, I think the Prophet and even the Elka Synthex. So on the Electric Druid website, he's got this really snazzy uh, schematic of the Elka Synthex filter. I'm basically gonna start from this, make a uh, breadboard layout of this filter and just mess around with it and base the Game Boy Mega Machine filters off this one. Wish me luck. So I've finished messing around and I've done a few adjustments to the Elka Synthex schematic and I've added 4066 analog switches. Ooh. These are the four different switchbacks that need to change for the different types of filters. Lovely. So what I need to do now is draw out the schematic on this and then kind of sit and think of how to actually make it work with the Game Boy Mega Machine. I basically need at least one per voice. In the previous video I explained why having one sort of limits the synthesizer because if you imagine you've got the Game Boy Mega Machine with the one, two, three, four, five, six. Which are the six separate notes that you can play. This is the six separate rows of Game Boys. If it's all going to one filter, then yeah, that's great. If you're playing one note at the same time, then that's fine. They're all going to be affected by this. But if you're playing a note down and then you push another down, that means that this filter is going to go up again. It's going to lift up. So that's why you need four, five, six, six filters. So you've got full articulation of the notes. So in essence, they're six synthesizers that are exactly the same. So after I was happy with the breadboard design, I made a schematic on KiCad and subsequently after a couple of evenings finished the printed circuit board. You see this right here? Well this is basically it and there's Sharpie all over it because yeah I wasn't super happy with it when I finished it and I've done a load of adjustments with a few different value changes as well as a couple of jumper wires here and there. But now this seems to work. The schematic of this is right here and you can download the schematic of this as well over on my website. So what I need to do now is make 12 of these and then also make 12 of these. These being the actual output router PCBs that I made in the last video. So this board arranges the signal flow depending on how you patch the digital patch bay on the front of a Game Boy Mega Machine. For more information on this, check the last Game Boy Mega Machine update because there's info about this on there. Anyway, without further ado, let's make these modules. Just the assembly of this stuff alone in front of me has taken maybe the last 10 days. I've spent every evening kind of just plowing away at the soldering and the drilling and the printing and all of that stuff. The soldering was no mean feat. People may say, why didn't you do it surface mount and then get it machine soldered? Surface mount isn't as nice as a through hole. This just has a look to it that's just the aesthetic I really want to go for. It looks like a proper building block, old school kind of way of doing things and I really like it and I'm happy that I spent an extra 20 hours soldering all of this just because it looks 20 times better. Before we talk about these filters more in depth, let's just uh, finish all of these off and yeah, have a lovely chat first thing I've done is I've actually made every single one of these filters unique. Basically you don't want them all to be exactly the same so if you look here you can see there's a grid system there's two you can select between there and six so you can select its exact designation this one is 3A it's 3A so I've just soldered all of the wires separately onto all of these boards which means that they're all completely separate. Ah, 
finally, after 10 days of pure slog, they're all done. <gasps> so what's actually here? Well, this is one of the filters. This is actually filter 4A, it says down there. And this corresponds to the fourth row on the first filter. And basically the backboard is the same board that you'll see on the output from the routing matrix, which you saw in a previous Mega Machine video. It's exactly the same, except it corresponds to different switches on the patch bay. That means when you flick the switch that turns on this filter, this filter, turns on mm. and here is the actual filter and the reason it looks a lot more complex than your usual filter is because of the syncing features um, it's because of the routing needs to be synced all of the modes on the filter need to be synced everything needs to be synced for it to be a functioning usable polyphonic filter setup so without further ado I'm gonna just put them in and hope they work <laughs> So in order for these uh, filters to all be controlled together I actually need to make some controller modules and these will in the future have polyphonic envelope generators and loads of other crazy shenanigans and things going on inside them but uh, right now I need to actually design them. So I've made this breadboard on a panel and basically what this is doing is it's mixing together and distributing all the voltages to the filters just so I could twist this knob and they all work at the same time just to make sure they work. Unfortunately I've made a slight miscalculation with the actual powering to all of these which is really annoying. I can't actually get them all working right now. I have to do some redesigning of the power supply and stuff like that. I've managed to get three of them working now so at least you can sort of get an idea. Just imagine there's more than three going on at the same time. And in the next Game Boy Mega Machine update when I finally got the polyphonic envelope generators working these should all be singing together quite snappily. Okay so this first row of Game Boys is actually going into this filter and this one works. If I twist this woo, it's actually uh, a filter. This is only the offset knob you don't actually touch these knobs in all but normal operation. So this knob down here controls all of the filters but this right now it's only this one on. But I'm going to turn on the two above it so there's now these three working. Notice how when I adjust it the actual LEDs light up and this will look really cool when they're all doing separate things when you have the polyphonic envelope generators below. So that doesn't sound like there's three but there is actually three. I'll turn up the resonance. So it just sounds like a filter, so what? Well it's got the different functions, so there's low, fil low pass and if you imagine I flick a switch it goes over to high pass or band pass. This is just for example, if I actually set the turn on the offsets and slightly offset them from each other, it kind of gets a bit weird. So as you can see the filters are well on their way however there is still a lot of messing around. I've been talking a lot about these over on vlog updates on my Patreon over there so if you're interested go and check it out and I posted a vote today on when this month's live stream is going to be uh, because I wasn't able to do it this last 10 days because every evening I spent making these darn things. <laughs> and needless to say the support really really helps with projects like this which seem to be more of a money pit rather than anything else. So thank you very much for making something like this sort of possible. With the next video on this being about what's inside this box. And yeah, it was quite expensive, but it's very necessary. And I think you're going to appreciate this, this video 
quite a lot. But yeah, hopefully the next Game Boy Mega Machine update will be within the next month when I finally finish designing the polyphonic filter controllers and, you know, messed around with all of the power and stuff like that. And yeah, after that, hopefully there will be some more music with the Game Boy Mega Machine instead of just random twiddles of knobs and dodgy noises like in this video. But yeah, until next time, I've been Look Mum No Computer. This is the Game Boy Mega Machine. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it. Mm.